Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's take a little side trip and talk about dark nebula, one of the three diffusion nebulas in which stars could potentially form. One of the problems, of course, with dark nebulas is that they're dark and therefore we don't see any light emanating from them and light typically doesn't travel very well through them as well. And let me explain why. First of all, let's take a look at this beautiful picture right here of the uh, galaxy M104, also known as the Sombrero Galaxy. It is unique in that the direction of the galaxy is such that we get a really good look at all the nebulas that tend to cut through the basically the plane of the galaxy. And you can see there's just tons and tons of nebulas, still locations where stars are currently being born and many more stars will be able to be formed from all those gases and the, the dust throughout that region. So, what is a dark nebula? Well, a dark nebula is simply a nebula that doesn't emanate light for two reasons. One of them, there are no gases, or I should say, there's no uh, stars nearby that cause the, the gases to be ionized within the nebula. Ionization means that high energy photons reach the gases, they knock against electrons, knock them out of orbit, and then as the electrons jump, fall back into orbit, and go from a higher orbit down to a lower orbit, they will emanate colors of different, different light and different colors. We don't see that in dark nebulas, meaning there's no stars bright enough and hot enough to cause that to happen. Secondly, there's no reflection happening as well either, or refraction of the light. So as the light, uh, or scattering I should say, scattering is a better word, as the light approaches the dark nebulas, if there's a very bright blue star nearby, the light will be scattered off the nebula and then sometimes it causes the shine or the reflection of nebulas to appear. Again, not the case when we have a dark nebula. A very nice example of a dark nebula is this one right here. And I've drawn a little picture of it. It kind of looks like a kidney bean and, uh, or a kidney. And notice the shape of it. <clears throat> See that there's absolutely no light emanating from this nebula and apparently no light coming through it. There's just as many stars behind the nebula as you see around the nebula and we do not see the light coming from, from those stars that are behind it. So what, is, what kind of nebula is that? It's a dark nebula but also known as a Bach globule and specifically this one is called Barnard 68. About a hundred years ago Barnard did a survey of the sky and tried to map and find as many of these dark globules or called Bach globules in our galaxy. This particular one is about three to four hundred light years away and the size of them it's about a half a light year across which is still plenty big since the light year is about 10 trillion kilometers. <clears throat> so what does nebula then experiences or the light experiences that tries to go through the nebula it experiences what we call light extinction and light reddening. Extinction means that the light tries to make it through it, but before it gets to the other side, it's completely scattered out. Light reddening means that some of the light makes it through and some of the light doesn't. The light is composed of the smaller wavelength blue light as well as the very long wavelength red light and all the colors in between with the various sizes of wavelengths. Notice that the blue light gets scattered out first, the green light scatters out next, the yellow and orange light scatters out next, and then the red light makes it the farthest. Why does that light make it so far? Well, the dust particles within the nebula tend to scatter out the very small wavelengths and not so much the larger wavelengths. Kind of what it is when you try to drive over a big rock with a big Jeep that has a very big tire. A big tire can make it over a big rock, but a small tire of a sedan cannot make it over a big rock. Kind of the same way with light. Blue light can't make it through the, the dust particles, but red light is, has large enough wavelengths that makes it through. Of course, in some cases it doesn't, and that's why the center portion of this nebula is completely dark. But if you look along the edges, you can see that the starlight of the star is behind it, the red light makes it through, so you see the red color poking through and the dark color doesn't. Then if we take a picture of the same nebula in the infrared, you can see much of the infrared light from those stars does make it all the way through the nebula because infrared light, of course, has much larger wavelengths than visible light as well. Sometimes we talk about the light going through a nebula in terms of the mean free path, how far a photon, photon can travel before it's scattered out. In the typical case, it might be as much as a 1 100th of a light year, which is, of course, not nearly far enough to make it through. Sometimes we also talk about the 
uh, what we call the reduction in the intensity of the light or the reduction in the magnitude. So here you can see that clearly some of the light doesn't make it through at all. So the reduction magnitude is enormous. But if we talk about interstellar medium, the medium throughout the stars, which is not nearly as dense as these dark nebulas, we can see that the reduction in intensity is a very gradual thing. Typically as much as 0.7 to 1 magnitudes in an order of about 3,000 light years or 1 kiloparsec. So as light travels through interstellar medium in a distance of 3,000 light years, it will lose some of its intensity. Some of it will slow, slowly over time get scattered out because it encounters dust particles throughout the interstellar medium. And so as light travels farther and farther, it becomes less and less bright, more and more dim, makes it harder to see it. Anyway, that gives us a better feel and understanding of what we're dealing with when we're talking about dark nebulas, and that is what they are. Okay. Okay, much better.